As an American, there's something in the American psyche that needs an enemy. And if it's not, you know, the Middle East, it's got to be somebody else, right? So plus there's this idea of, of the competition. Um, there's also, I think, a, a fear because of the unknown, um, because of, you know, the, the difference economically, the difference in the political systems, the difference in the ideology. My name's Theo Cope. I'm a psychologist and a psychotherapist. Born in the United States, left there in 1998, came into China, and have been here almost all the time since. 18, 19 years old, I was in the Air Force. I was a teacher, and I took a class on abnormal psychology, the first class in uh, psychology I took. And so I got interested in the human mind back at that age. And then as life happened, and then I kept studying psychology and philosophy, and then uh, got my education and PhD in psychology, psychotherapy training beyond that, and just started doing it. The Western psychologists working in China um, Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, you know, tier one cities, there are more. There's a lot of young, younger counselors here. The schools have, each have counselors and you know, a lot of them are foreigners. A lot of the Chinese now are coming back from overseas who are you know, psychologists or counselors and they're bringing in you know, the bilingualness and also the Western training, but the thinking is still different. So it creates opportunities and challenges, right? An opportunity is because there are not a lot. If somebody is, you know, as a Westerner, if, if you get a good reputation, like anywhere in the world, then you can really develop a good practice and have a good influence. The difference in how the Chinese and Westerners perceive reality, it's not just a difference in how we describe it, um, and there's studies that have been done at Dalian, one of the universities in Dalian, where it looked at for mathematics and uh, language that Chinese actually use different structures of their brain, right? Because of the way the language is structured. So, yeah, we are the same, but yet culture really shapes our brain and shapes our mind, right? So for many foreigners who come here, they think, well, our way is, you know, my way is what I know and it's the right way, which sure, for them, but to come here it requires flexibility. You know, you have to be able to take your mental model and put it aside and adapt differently. Well, there's a lot of favorite things that I have. Um, I, like the, I like the people, I really do. Uh, or else I wouldn't have stayed here. You know, I think the Chinese friendships are, are to go back to another earlier comment, I think there are a lot like the, the, middle, the friends from the Middle East that I have, really tight, really deep, you know, really genuine types of friendship, that's right. Um, and I think that um, that keeps me here. I like Chinese food, I love Sichuan food, you know, when I go back to the United States, I find it really hard to find good Chinese food. You know? um, that's another element. I, you know, it's been fascinating for me, one as a Westerner, two as a, as a psychologist, to see the change within China culture and within the thinking. 